So it's been 14 days since I hung these two. And uh, I'd love to say that uh, I'll be mature and let them sit another week or two and age, but I can't because they smell so good. Uh, they smell very strong. In fact, uh, like crazy strong. Uh, so if you're reluctant to have something which is, is uh, overwhelming in your house, uh, don't make these. Uh, right now, they're firm. Uh, outside is hard. Uh, together, they weigh 2.9 pounds, which is down from the 6.16 pounds we started with. And ultimately, uh, our meat cost 36.9 dollars and if you throw in you know, the cost of a you know, three dollar box of salt and some uh, fenugreek we're looking at about forty dollars so ultimately this comes down to about 13.8 or about 14 dollars a pound not not unreasonable uh, so tomorrow we're going to uh, have a birthday celebration in my group meeting and I've, I've made cake, and with the cake, we're gonna have some of this. So let's, let's see what this is like. Very hard, that's one thing I can tell you. Extremely hard. Holy smokes. I have no idea how a person cuts this thing. I guess you just kind of rock into it. And then let's uh, cut through. Okay. So all along the surface here, uh, you see we've got a little, little crack, so uh, I didn't get the surface coating exactly perfect. In many of these, we have little white spots like this, like this, and I think that is probably salt. Uh, there, was, uh, there was a lot of salt as I, I, I dried it before putting the coating on. So some of the coating falls off. Again, this is the, uh, the salt, and this is what the interior looks like, which is picture perfect. Smells good. Let's try getting a slice off. Oh, jam and a Christmas. That is a stiff piece. Okay, and uh, all the coating broke off. Let's try it without the coating first. Mmm. Wow. Salty. Lots of garlic. Crazy amount of garlic. I taste the fenugreek, but the fenugreek is just kind of a, a bitter aromatic. Uh, you can taste the, uh, the sweet paprika. I think I need a way to shave this to make it thinner. Maybe I can borrow a meat cutter from someone. Let's try the uh, coating. Hmm. So the interior, whoa. Whew, that coating is strong. Not bad. Just Surprisingly potent. Uh, in interior, uh, you, know, you see, a little bit, a uh, little bit flexible. Uh, the outer layer is uh, dried. Um, 
this could go well with eggs, or so uh, some of the recipes say. Let's try coating with the uh, with the meat. Hmm. Wow. That is just amazingly strong, the coating. Let's try cutting another slice. Let's see if I can get a little thinner. Okay, there we go. That's a little thinner. If I compare this to uh, to pictures on the internet, I think that I made my, my coating a little bit too thin. So I probably needed to maybe double the amount of uh, uh, coating recipe I put together. I cut this and it's transparent. Let's try this. Mmm. Wow. That's very good. Okay. So making this. Uh, one thing. The, the loss is relatively high. If you can buy your eye of round pre-trimmed at a reasonable rate, or at least without the, the, all the blood in the bag, uh, that would be an advantage to, to save money. Um, in the production, it takes about three to four days of salt and pressure so you don't necessarily have to take it and clean it every time the way I did. Um, this was you know, more of a test run. If, you know, once I finish eating these two pounds and I make more, uh, I will uh, not uh, necessarily let it uh, have all the intermediate steps. This is very salty, which I think is, is not wrong. Uh, with all the salt on the surface though, I think that perhaps letting the meat uh, rinse for more than uh, an hour or two would be good. Some of the online recipes call for uh, soaking overnight. Um, I think at least changing the water a couple times would probably be uh, beneficial to reduce the saltiness. Although the saltiness it is is good, uh, but it, it does significantly cut into your capacity to uh, eat. Uh, a, a lot of it. Oh, the, the texture also uh, cuts into your uh, capacity to eat. Uh, when making the fenugreek or the uh, the coating, uh, I think I have the right ratio of, of the spices, but I think that I needed more water. Uh, what I found was that as I was applying the, the coating, it would just slip off and... Uh, the real problem here, I think, was that uh, it wasn't wet enough. So what I would do a second time would be to put more water in and get it a little bit closer to a uh, mashed potato as opposed to a uh, toothpaste uh, consistency. And then after I put the water in, I would let it sit for about maybe 10, 15 minutes and let the ground uh, spices absorb the, the water. I found that as time went on, it was easier to manage the, the paste that I was spreading on. Uh, and that's because I think that the, uh, the spices were fully hydrated. Um, the drying process from, from pressed to dry took about two, three days. Um, and I, I was doing this in a uh, spare bedroom and I had the window open so it must have been around you know 40 degrees Fahrenheit um, I was concerned about spoilage and I, I think in hindsight that really is, is not a, an issue but it, it did take about another two three days um, and two weeks uh, you wind up with a, a very good uh, final product uh, it, it may age more I don't know but uh, I can say that for what this is, it is it is really very nice. Um, 
I might try to make a thicker, a thicker piece next time. Uh, the final dimension of, of this, final dimension of this is somewhere between uh, maybe eight centimeters by one and a half at, at the, the thickest. <clears throat> um, looking at these these coatings also, uh, this one does not have cracks on like does on on this side. Uh, there were instructions online for uh, wetting your hands and, and smoothing out the surface. And I, I just kind of reached the point where I, you know, I was so frustrated with getting the coating on that uh, I was not going to uh, risk rubbing it off with, with wet palms. Uh, I think if I had a thicker coating, it also might stick a little bit better than, than this. But... Uh, Tomorrow we'll see how this goes with, with birthday cake. Oh yeah. And uh, get other people's inputs as well. Anyway, thank you for, for watching and uh, good luck if you're making pasturba. So it's been about a week and uh, I've gone through the better half of the uh, one of these. Uh, and I think we should have a little bit of a follow-up. First off, the recipe is exactly right in terms of the flavoring and uh, the initial steps. As this is aged, it's become much firmer. And if you look at the... Uh, this is it's extremely hard. Uh, and I think that this has to do with the fact that the the surface coating is not very well adhered and it keeps coming off. It also cracks all through the surface and it's extremely thin. Uh, the consequence of that is, is that the uh, meat's very hard and, and cutting uh, thin slices is challenging. You typically either get thick pieces or just kind of little shavings that come off. Uh, and you also wind up with big chunks of, of the surface that, that pop off as, as well. So I think doing this again, I'll probably double the amount of the uh, that coating and put it on uh, thicker, probably try, try to go something like three, quarter, three eighths of an inch uh, thick. Uh, another comment. Is, is that the, uh, the fenugreek is extremely strong. Uh, my bedroom, the, the spare bedroom, uh, still smells extremely <laughs> much like, like this stuff. It's not a bad smell. It's Some people describe it as, uh, as maple syrup, and it's a little maple syrup, but it's also... Uh, a little bit more acrid than that, but it's tasty. Uh, so uh, be aware that it's it's extremely potent. But aside from that, it looks good, and you know I think that I'll probably go through the the second pound pretty quick as well, sharing it with friends and uh, the, uh, the Turkish colleagues I have in, in the department. Uh, both of them were thrilled with it. So I'll probably uh, pass this around some and then work on a, a second pass with a, a thicker surface layer to try to get that right. It's been another two weeks since the last video and I've, I've uh, gone through the, the second piece of meat. Uh, it's quite good. Uh, something that I found is that uh, storing these in, in plastic seems to be significant. If you're not storing them in plastic, the uh, exterior gets extremely brittle uh, and breaks off. If you store it in plastic, uh, the uh, surface is becomes you know, softer. It's easy to get a, a clean cut with just a, a knife, so you don't need such a, a thick coating. I, I'm still going to try a thicker coating the next time that I, I make this. Um, and the interior stays firm, but 
tender. So it seems that the, the storage is important. It also helps considerably with the flavor. It's much mellower uh, after storing in plastic. Uh, it could be time as well because it's, it's sat for an extra two weeks. Uh, the the aroma is, is much less than, than it was uh, originally. And the flavor seems to be more homogenized to the meat and it's not just a surface uh, flavoring anymore. So this is uh, kind of getting to the end of the uh, pastroma. Uh, I'll let you know as, as I make the next batch and, and try experimenting a little more with it. It'll probably be next winter because I, I want to store it at uh, cooler temperatures. So with that, uh, thank you very much and I will see you later.